Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. Today's video is part of a challenge playlist video and it's called, the theme of it is let's go apple picking. And I actually have been apple picking in Washington state where a lot of my kids live and it was fun, it was cool, it was different. I wouldn't want to do it for like a job, but it was fun. And today we were challenged to create some apple picking inspired DIYs. So that's what I have for you today. All of them are budget friendly, super easy to make, and let's just get started. Supervisor Socks is on duty with his tail in the upper right corner and of course Captain is here as well. And I'm just taking this Daisy Sour Cream lid and I'm hot gluing a cardboard circle that I cut out to be the same size. I'm gluing that to the top. And then I took jumbo popsicle sticks, I believe I got these from Lowe's, and I just cut them in half and I'm gluing them around the base of this apple barrel. The hot glue is working, but I will say it does still feel, it doesn't feel like really secure or sturdy, but it, it's working. Then I'm gonna take some of, the, of this twine and I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom of the barrel and just kind of wrap it around twice. And then I'm gonna secure that off with hot glue. And then I'm gonna put another two, um, some twine around the top of it. And I was gonna leave it like a bow, but I decided not to, I'm just securing it the same way as I did the bottom. I'm taking some Spanish moss that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna put that in as my barrel filler. And then I'm gonna take some apples that I got from Hobby Lobby and put them in on top. Here is how my apple barrel turned out. And if you'll notice, I did cut off the tops of the popsicle sticks right above the twine line and I did distress it with some distressing ink. And I was able to fit in these many apples I got from Hobby Lobby. Did I just say that? I don't know. But I got them from Hobby Lobby and I got them the week that they were on sale. So that I thought this was a cute addition to my tiered tray. As I mentioned before, this is called the Let's Go Apple Picking DIY Decor Challenge. It is hosted by the Crafty Quinn and Rebecca Virginia DIY. A link to their channels as well as a link to the playlist will of course be in the description box below. I'm not sure what happened to the footage of me making it, but here's an apple shaped wood cutout that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gluing to the back of it a Jenga block. And what I did to the front was I took some scrapbook paper and I glued it to the front using Mod Podge and then I used my sander, my little hand sander, to take off the edges to give it a clean look. And that's how it looks, turned out. I mean, it's, it's not really rocket science on how I did that. And the second one, as you can see, I quickly turned it over, but it's covered in burlap and I did use felt to paint to paint. I used felt to create the leaf and then I used just some brown um, acrylic paint to make the stem. But I was using the leftover burlap from another project that I did and I'm just gluing that Jenga block to the back so that it can stand up on its own on my tiered tray. But again, I don't know what happened to the footage. But basically I just cut out the same shape and glued it to the front. So <laughs> it was a really easy project. And this is how they turned out. Again, that was just scrapbook paper that I'd gotten, I've had it for a while and the extra burlap from my previous project that's sitting right next to it. So this was so easy peasy and I just think it adds a little extra filler to your tiered tray. For this last project, I'm using Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint in the color True Red. And I'm just painting the front of this little hanging sign. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna be using my little sponge brush that I also got from the Dollar Tree to paint it on. Now, I also wanted to mention that I have a Facebook group with my dear friend, Sarah from GGB DIY, and I'll have a link to that in the description box below. I would love it if you're watching this video, if you'd also join our group and share some of your DIYs that you're working on as well. This container that is holding my buttons is actually in a vintage Tupperware container. And I'm just getting out two buttons 
approximately the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but in my case, I, that's what I use. And I'm taking my Artique paint pen in the color white, and I'm just writing out the word apple, and then I'll add five cents. Next, I take my hot glue gun and I put a little dab of glue and then I'm going to put the button on top, trying to be careful not to burn myself. I did take some of my distressing ink and kind of distressed it a little bit. <laughs> and then I just made sure that the little scrap of flannel that I was using as an additional embellishment was laying like I wanted it to. And this is how it turned out. I like it. Now, I feel like I could have used maybe a little bit bigger buttons or possibly made the writing a little bit more crude looking, if you will. But I really like how it turned out. And I hope you do too. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate spending time with y'all. Y'all spending time with me. And I hope you like the crafts that I created today. As I said, they're budget friendly and easy to make. So what's not to like? And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life though. Because that's creepy. Bye!